U.S. stocks, they're higher this Friday as bank shares got a boost from the release of the Federal Reserve stress test results, while investors also look ahead to a key meeting between President Donald Trump and Chinese President Xi Jinping. Now, J.P. Morgan Chase, Morgan Stanley, Citigroup, Wells Fargo, all rising more than 1.5% this morning. Goldman Sachs and Bank of America gaining more than 2% each. Gains that come after they passed the Federal Reserve's annual stress test and got approval to boost dividends and share repurchase programs. Meanwhile, in the Forex market, the euro dollar, that begins with further advance. The British pound U.S. dollar pair sees a consolidation in place, while the dollar yen also sees a consolidation in place. Now, the U.S. dollar Canadian dollar pair, that's in focus as it is challenging the February low ahead of April's GDP release. Currently, the pair, that's under pressure, capped by a declining trend line in place since June 25th stop, and currently the Canadian dollar at 131.05. In addition, the same level, the 50 period moving average on a 30 minute chart is on the down side and has been actively capping the pair during the past trading sessions. On the technical front, the relative strength index below the 50% neutrality area, but posting a potential bullish divergence not validated yet. Short positions below 131.05 are favored with targets at 130.65 and 130.45 in extension. The Bitcoin dollar, meanwhile, that sees a rebound towards 11,306, the pivot point standing at 10,636, while gold sees the bias remain bullish and that's in focus. A support base has formed at 14. 0350 and has allowed for a temporary stabilization. Long positions above 140350 are favored with targets at 1420 and 1425 in extension, while silver that sees its key resistance 1532 a troy ounce.